My goal is to share some tips and tricks on story-driven videos. And so just to get started, I'm gonna be working kind of off of a recent project that I did for Puma Cobra Golf. I think it's really important, even before you go into Premiere, you kind of have a roadmap for where you're gonna go because now you know exactly what you're looking for as you're going through interviews, as you're going through your B-roll. I'm gonna go over and jump into Premiere. I'm gonna go into B-roll, pulling selects for B-roll. That's the first place we'll kind of start off. Double click it to open as a bin. And then from here, I'll just go like this. And and then now that I have everything open, I can command A and use the comma. The comma is like just a good shortcut to put all the footage on the timeline for you already. Duplicate that sequence. And then so once I've pulled selects and you have all your clips raised, use the method called pancake editing. It's nice to be able to see all your stuff and you can easily drag and drop things to a new timeline. So I come in here, I'm gonna right click, add chapter marker. And then let's say I know that I have footage of the research team. Again, going back to that organization, I know all these files are him on the computer kind of working. So basically now I know exactly the footage that I want. It's set up, it's very organized. And now when I'm actually editing the footage, it's just gonna make my life 10 times easier. Well, cool. and so now I'm gonna get into editing the interviews. And this is my favorite part. What we're gonna do here is window. You can actually switch your workspace to be text-based editing. And I actually opened up a new project here. So I'm gonna to come to the import tab. I'm just gonna take somewhat short interview here. The nice thing about text-based editing is basically, just like it sounds, you're gonna start editing based off the text rather than having to sift through different interviews. You can come here. If you click on it, you can click transcribe source. Premiere did its thing. And now, as you can see, we have the entire timeline here, which is what, an 18 minute, it's all done so for us, crazy. it's all transcribed. It's just incredible because now I can sit here and read and I can go through. I can hit the search button. I can search for exactly what I want. So project goals for the dark speed driver. I know that that's Steven speaking. So when I'm specifically on the source clip, I can come and edit the speaker name. And so now as you go through, you kind of know exactly who's speaking. The nice thing about it, so I know Steven speaking right here, none of this is valuable. You can just come and highlight like the line that you don't want and basically press delete and it's gonna delete it for you. And then I'll move back into, let's say our selects. Let's say I wanna start building out a rough timeline. So let's say rough draft. I know one section of the video, we talk about three different drivers. What you can do is come over here and say, I want to search when someone talks about different drivers. So we got one result. And then, so yeah, I just highlighted it, the exact line that I wanted and just Command C, Command V right onto that timeline. And so now that we have the transcript, we're gonna just come over to captions and I'm just gonna click the button, create captions from transcript. And I just click create captions and boom, voila. And so if I want to go in and highlight all of them and then now I'm able over here to basically change the track style. I always click on my safe margins here and I will just slide this up like right on this top line. Let's say you need an SRT file, you can come back to the text-based editing window and I can click these three dots at the top. I can just click export. You can export a text, you can export a CSV or you can like export that um, SRT file wherever you need it to go. Awesome. Well, Taylor, thank you. Uh, it's always a pleasure hanging out with you. And with that being said, enjoy the rest of your week. Go out and create something awesome. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.